from Inspired Needle, and I'm here to bring you another episode of What's New at the Shop. We have several new patterns that I want to show you guys, and of course we're going to have our linen lineup, so stay tuned for that. That'll be after I show you the new stuff. Um, just an update of what's going on at the shop. We, are, we were able to open last Friday to the public, so in order to kind of... Um, keep things going so that we're not too overcrowded in the shop. We are taking appointments, although, you know, sometimes people just walk in, they don't know that they needed to make an appointment, so, and we've been really good so far. I just want to make sure that if there's a group that wants to get together, you know, like five or six or seven people that want to come together, um, we're able to accommodate that. So what we do is we just book out those time slots for, um, the friend, the group of friends to get together. And so that's been working out pretty good. But most of the time, there's usually only one or two people in here at a time anyway. So, and we're still continuing to do our mail orders. And a big thank you to Brenda and Laura for sending all those um, stitchers our way that are eager to get the Lakeside Linen. I know we had the big run on the 36 count pair from Lakeside. So, uh, most of that is gone. I still have a few more orders to catch up on and then we'll get that out the door to the rest of you. But I also want to show something that Laura dropped off. Of course, well, let's show you this. Of course, you guys know the new release from Kathy Haberman. The, this was done last year at um, the Stitch Retreat with Chelsea and Priscilla, uh, Midwest Stitch Cross Stitchers Retreat. So Laura attended last year, and so she was kind enough, let me grab it here, um, she was kind enough to give me her stitch sample, and she do a great job, look at how cute that is, it's all with a, um, the gingham around there, and the little flower and the ribbon at the top, she did a really, really great job, so if anyone's interested, I have this pattern this just showed up um, yesterday and she's got her little uh, magnets back there super cute nice job and I think everyone left with their finished piece so we'll leave that there on display so that was of course this pattern this is, finishes the series the chock full series with all the the little jars and we have the pin sets and the needle nannies and you name it Okay, next, the, I don't know if everyone's seen, this is Be a Pineapple, and this is was also a class piece that Kathy taught at another retreat, and I'm not sure, but I thought it was really cute. Stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet, so Be a Pineapple. And the Velveteen will have, um, there's also the Flamingo pin. I don't see it on this pattern, but there's a little flamingo pin that could go with this. You could stick it in the drum or just, you know, do it however you want. Two new patterns. Um, I think there's, I don't remember which seasons, but anyway, these are from, it's a collaboration between Dames of the Needle and Romy from Romy's Creations. So this one is 4th of July in a jar. If you can see that. It's really pretty and then here is summer in a jar I thought that was really clever how they made them like little jars you know with a little wire handle and you can hang it up anywhere no need for a frame you just finish it off on the back maybe put some wool or something I'm sure they tell you instructions how to do it and then just add that little piece of wire there to hang it super cute a uh, couple new patterns from Rosewood Manor um, those of you that know her of the kingdom like she had crowns of the kingdom um, Oh gee, I'm blanking out now. Crowns of the Kingdom, Crosses of the Kingdom. Well, she has a whole series like that. Well, now here is Anchors of the Kingdom. This is another little booklet. These are really cool. I like this for, you know, maybe someone, you have like a, a fishing themed room or something in your house. This would look really nice in there. I know my husband, I could probably give that to him. Or a boater if you have a fisherman in the family or someone who just likes deep sea fishing or something, that would be nice. Um, here's another one on that shale. Sorry, I'm coming out of the camera. On that shale fabric. Oh no, this isn't shale, I'm sorry. Memory. It's called Memory. This is Midsummer's Eve. Eve. Midsummer's Eve. The fabric is by Pictures Plus called Memory. 
Of course, we don't have that in stock. Um, those of you that have placed orders for Picture This Plus fabric, rest assured, Marilyn is working her little fingers to the bone. She's probably not sleeping much at all, getting the fabric ready. And I want to say we should be about due for another order to come in, so there shall be several of you that will be getting some fabric soon, hopefully. Um, this is Karen Kluba's last series that just got released. Not series, but um, pattern that we got most recently, Postcard of Love. That's really pretty. So, And she gives a couple other little ways to take little motifs out of here and make little, you know, she puts her initials or a butterfly or spells out the word love. It's really cute. Okay, that's um, all that I have for you to show you for the new stuff. I'm sure there's more, but oh, we got a bunch of Rovaris ones in too. Um, sorry, that'll be for next time. But let me, sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud. But let me uh, get on with the fabric display here. We have R&R fabric, 36 and 40 count. So hanging tight, I'm going to readjust the camera and so we can get you can get uh, close-up shots because I think from showing you from this distance is too far. So I'll readjust and be right back. Okay, and you may have noticed my new locale. I'm in the original part of the shop. And um, since we reopened the, the restaurant next door to us, it's a pizza place. Um, here in Illinois, they're not allowed, the restaurants are not allowed to seat people inside yet. So during this phase, they're allowed to have outdoor seating, and I have a large amount of real estate right in front of my shop, and so the village brought over some picnic tables, and the pizza place is able to utilize that space and put, um, you know, diners outside on the picnic tables. As long as the weather is nice, that's great. And it's just a little weird because I have that huge picture window. And so if people, are, I've been wanting to record this for a couple of days, but people are always seeming to be seated right in front of my window. And I didn't want to be inside filming while they're out there eating. And I don't want to disturb their dinner. And I'm sure um, I don't want to be disturbed either while I'm recording this. So, okay, so let's get started. I'm going to try to get out of the way a little bit more. So here we have some, for those of you, I did say 36 and 40, but I have a few yards of some smaller count fabrics. So here is, I should say larger count, smaller count. I'm kind of in the window. I'm trying to give you like a natural light color. This is Espresso r, &R. I hope this records color-wise like true to color. Um, here is Winter Brew. And I love the smell of coffee. Oh my gosh, I'm like in heaven here. Um, I did not take this out of the plastic. There's some I still have in the plastic. Patriot's Brew. This is 32 count. These are just some yards I must have gotten them in recently. Here is Sheep Straw, 32 count. And we cut these, you know, half, quarter, eighth, however you want it. Here's more Winter's Brew, 32 count. Vintage Homespun. These are all nice neutral colors. And they, like I tell you, they smell delicious. Liberty Gathering Gray in a 36. Winter Brew, 36. And this, for those of you that are wondering, I was trying to show somebody, maybe I have it here. Oh yeah. Someone was asking, um, because Brenda Gervais' pattern calls for Patriot's Brew, and she called for 36. Well, when I ran out of 36, let me show you something here. Okay, so here is Winter's Brew. Let me flip it over so you can see. Well, here is Patriot's Brew. This is 40. I mean, look at you can, so I was subbing one for the other. They're basically identical colors. So, sometimes I just, I don't know what makes one a Patriot and one what makes one a Winter because to me they look, like I said, almost identical. Okay, so you saw that now. I have the 40 in Patriot's Brew. Winter Brew, more of it, 36. I guess I don't have to show you every single 
yard. Here is weathered shingle, 40 count. Well, it's kind of like a nice, between maybe a flax and a natural, it's, it's a really pretty color. Okay, we got all those. I had some smaller pieces here too. And I have more cuts, um, but they're cut up, they were in another tub. I'm like, oh, I'll show you that next time. Here's sheep straw, r and 40 count. This is a really pretty color. And this one you'll see a little bit later, um, but I just didn't take it out of the plastic. This is 40 count. I didn't have a lot of 40 in r and Salt marsh green. This looks like about a fat half. Um, here's a couple little pieces, antique cotton. This is a color you don't see too often, but it's a beautiful golden color. It looks like there's an eighth in there, maybe a quarter, two different pieces. Okay, getting on to the big cuts here. So this is, again, Winter Brew 36. I hope it's coming out. It seems like there's a big shadow right behind the camera. So I'm trying to show you. Okay, and I have my plastic behind there. Here is, let me see if I can turn it a little bit, get a better angle of the light. Okay, this is not r, &R. This is from, whoops, I'm losing my fabric, Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, this is called Tiramisu, and it's hard to tell what you would call this. It's got some pink in it but it's a nice neutral color. Okay, more sheep straw, but this is 36 count. Sorry, they're walking upstairs, a little freaking going on there on the floorboards. Um, salt marsh green, r and Yeah, this is a bad time of day probably to be filming because you're getting all kinds of shadows here. In the, and plus it's darker back here in this part of the shop. Okay, salt marsh green. And another color from the Under the Sea Fabrics. This is a really pretty one. This is properly primitive. So this has got some browns and some greens in it. I really like their fabric, and they also use the, the Zweigart, you can tell by the, the red or orange salvage. So it's properly primitive. And those of you familiar with Becky Nolan's, um, one of her uh, pieces that fit into like a little shaker box, that is the color they use. This is an old color, it's a piece I found sitting around somewhere. Um, Park City, r and Reproductions. This is a, a nice color. I think maybe maybe some of those Blackbird, no, it couldn't have been. I was gonna say some of the Blackbird stockings, but something way back. It's It's been a while since this color was out. Here is Mink, r and 36 Mink. Okay, here is Lucky Penny, I love this color. I think I've showed you guys this color before. It's really pretty, I don't know what you would stitch on it, but I, I would put just about anything on here. I mean, it could be whimsical, it could be snow, it could be, you could, I'm even thinking that like one of the Hawk Run Hollows, why well, wouldn't that look nice on here, you know what I mean? Okay, this one is in the pink and ah, I don't remember it's been a while since something got put on this it was pretty popular maybe last year in the pink that's a half yard right there here is iced cappuccino that's a nice pretty it reminds me a little of exemplar from Lakeside Linen. Um, this is Fog Lifter. It's got some blue to it. A really, really pale blue. These are 30, most of these are 36. Like I said, I don't have very much in the way of 40 count of R&R. &R. 
seems like as soon as I get 40 in, it, it's out the door again. Creek Bed Brown. This is deeper than the Winter Brew and the Patriots Brew, but again, in that same family. So if you wanted to, you know, interchange if you didn't have a certain color in a certain count, there you go. You can use the Creek Bed Brown. It's a little warmer tones. Chamomile Tea. Another pretty color, neutral. Maybe they use tea for this instead of coffee, I don't know, for the dyeing. I don't know, one day I'll get to Virgin Virginia Beach and I'll ask them for when I see them at market. Patent in. Uh, Blue Moon Java. Now this I know for sure because I stitched something on it. Um, it's an old color that Blackbird Designs I know they did something on this way back when because I have it in my house hanging. I can't remember the name of the pattern right now, but I love this color. And they just recently came back out with it, so I'm not sure where or what they intended for it. Beach Brew, and the, again, same Patriots Brew, Winter Brew, it's all in that same family. I wonder if they just use different strengths of the coffee. Um, what is this? Alabaster. This has probably become one of my new favorite colors. It's a really pretty, um, I guess like a beigey, peachy kind of color. It's really soft and neutral. Love it. Okay. Stars Hollow Blend. I was kind of going alphabetical. I don't know what happened here. Stars Hollow Blend, and here I have a larger piece to show you. Really pretty. I love them all. I'm happiest when I'm around my fabric. And then Chamomile Tea. I think we I showed you this already, this color. I like it a lot. So that is all I have. It seems like this is a pretty short little video. Maybe um, tomorrow we'll... I'll, ha I'll be here with Nancy, so maybe if we have some time, we'll, we'll kind of... I'll bring my sampler. I'm working on my Brenda Key sampler. And maybe I will bring that and show you guys. Um, it'll be... I'm making really good progress. I guess I'll turn the oops, camera up a little bit. I'm making really good progress on my Brenda Key sampler. So I haven't stitched on it uh, this week yet because I've just been busy and back at work, and it seems like... Now that I'm open to the public again with the customers that I am staying later to try to work on the mail order part of it and just getting home later and just spending more time here at the shop. So I don't mind. It's surrounded by stuff that I love. So, okay, um, to be continued. We'll see you in a bit. Hey, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. Guess what? I've got Nancy with me this time. <laughs> We're back. We're back. We're back in the saddle. We've got a something that felt like a little spider was crawling on me. It's the threads hanging from what's in front of me. Um, we're back. We officially opened last Friday. It's been a week and a day now. Um, it's been nice. Fifty percent capacity we're at, which doesn't say much because you know you get more than four people in here and it's kind of crowded, but. Um, That's a bit of an exaggeration. There's a well, more room no, for but I mean people. to be like what they consider socially distancing no, and all well, that. But true. so we've been taking appointments and um, it's been working out pretty good. A few people pop in um, every now and then and just pick up some threads or whatever where they don't call, but that it hasn't been a problem so far. I just want to be able to not have to have someone at the front door to police people coming and going. I just want people to feel comfortable, come in like they're, you know, back in a familiar, comfortable spot. And, you know, just, I, and I think we've achieved that so far. Everyone's been very happy so far with, yeah. with what's mm -hmm. been going on. So it's been nice chit chatting with the customers. Again. Yeah, definitely have everybody back. And so I thought since I did my fabric, um, little parade, you, that you just watched, that we would, I told Nancy, bring um, her, her whips and her finishes, and I brought mine so we could show you, because you haven't seen much of that lately. So, 
Do you want to start? Thing? Yeah, sure. I have. Oops. You know what? I forgot to bring Your out. Your bell. She forgot her bell Where for her finish. Bell? Oh my goodness. Do you want me to hold it up, or are you gonna hold it up? Yeah. No. Go ahead. Oh well. I was looking. It's in here she somewhere. She lost her bell. Oh my See, gosh. See, it's been buried so long it's that. Been yeah, go ahead. Here, oh, here's no, I don't have a chart for that. We don't I want to use it. this to put oh. it behind so we can see. Oh my gosh! Wow, Woo! she found it. Okay, here's Nancy's finish. Yay! So, you know, I that took me according to my chart, my start and end date, it was like two months when I saw that. I'm like, come on, Nancy, get it together. And a lot of people love the when there's a solid area and they fill in the same color, I apparently don't. Because <laughs> that's where I was stuck on, was with that uh, pumpkin. So, and I, well, I love people... doing this. This was awesome with the Krynik. Oh, let me see. That was neat. Like... I think oh, it's that so looks pretty. Fun. Yeah. Are these tops supposed to be empty? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that does look really nice. Yeah. Are they supposed to be like little... Are there yeah, drinks or something? Uh, bottles, maybe? Drinking bottles? I don't know. I'll try to get up yeah. close so you can mm -hmm. see yeah, what I'm looking at. But fun. Yeah, that was fun. Okay. So, so we have our finish. We have a finish. Kathy has uh, marching have, orders to, yeah, get, to get this done. And then, right, oh, did you want me to do? You can do another one. That's okay. Fine. And then, um, that same night I finished. I went ahead and started the next one. This one is Broomstick Fuel. Scary Apothecary. Scary That's from apothecary. Hands on Design. Yep. And this one is just so much fun. I'll let you hold this one up. I have this one I'll be done with maybe tonight or tomorrow. I still What's have a lot there? of brooms. Oh, Vroom Vroom? Vroom Vroom. Vroom yeah. Vroom Vroom. Vroom Vroom, right. Oh, so, okay. So I it's just like... have a, a little bit more down here. And then uh, all that gets backstitched. And then there's a little bit more of um, a backstitching with the Krynik yet. So, and then that'll be done in no time. That'll be like a record for me, done in a, maybe a week to ten days. Yeah, that's I've been awesome. stitching every night this week yeah. when I got home from work. Oh, and that's, I haven't been stitching. Yeah. That's <laughs> unusual so for me. So Yeah, during this whole shutdown thing, I was thinking... Thinking about my days off, I've had three days off the whole time. And actually, like, where I didn't come in the shop. Because usually, even on my days off, I come in the shop. But, And I've been trying to stitch a little bit, but I haven't touched my stitching this week. It's been too much. Okay. So, my whip progress. I keep promising to bring it and show you, and I never do, or I forget it or something. But this is what I'm working on. And you've seen that um, a while ago. This, I started with an EGA chapter that I belong to. This is called the Plant Wisdom Sampler. This is Brenda Key's sampler company. Um, we were supposed to put down, it was a challenge um, through my Ducle chapter in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Because I kind of, I belong to dual chapters. I belong to one here in Illinois, my local chapter, and then... Because when we would go down to see my mother-in-law in Florida, I got to be friendly with um, Melody, who lives down in Jacksonville. And I was telling her one day, oh, I'm going to be in your neck of the woods. Now, I had no idea where Jacksonville was in relation to where my mother-in-law lived. But it, um, it turned out that she only lived about maybe 45 minutes from my mother-in-law, or well, where the Duclay chapter meets. So... We made arrangements, and I went down to met her, and I joined their chapter. And so anyway, they had this challenge that however many projects you put down on the list, and then I think you pay so much money per project that you finish, or you pledge so much money. And then at the end of the year, whoever accomplished the most on their list or something like that, it was like a certain dollar value, $5 or $10, something like that would win, then whoever accomplished the most off their challenge list won the pot of money or they split it or something. But it was a oh, neat. substantial amount yeah, of bet. Yeah, cash. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I promised to do this like three years ago and I never did anything on it. So there we go. That's the Brenda Keys sampler, the Plant Wisdom sampler. I love it. Mm -hmm. And here, I, gotta, I should have set this up differently. 
Here is my progress. Let me turn it this way. I'm going to stand up for that one. So, whoop, I got the chart behind there, see. So that's my progress. I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, beautiful. Maybe like a fourth of the way. Well, maybe not quite because I have that the big solid stitching of the house Are is coming up. Are you using the call for thread? No, I did change everything. I It's charted in DMC and I wanted some variegation. So like you can see, this um, was just a solid DMC color and I wanted, I, I like the over dyed. So all the DMCs, if it was a significant enough spot, I went to over dyed and all gentle art. So, that you is general art. <laughs> I told you I, I kitted this up like three years ago. Oh, okay, that's where we're at. So yeah, I have all kinds of general art. And actually, speaking of the general art, um, I did not know that they were closing, closing. And I had when I got the email that they were closing, I hurried up and I sent in an order, and we did receive that order. But stupid me, I should have put in another order since then. Um, but I didn't. I Not until we got our order, that original one that I put in the day that they closed. So we did receive that, and then I went and did another one, and I should have been putting them in, because then maybe we'd have more fabric, our fabric. Okay. We'd you have more threads right now. Close due to the shutdown, the COVID. Right, I should okay. have been. They're yeah. not, like, closing their business. Oh, no, no, no. Business. Okay. no. Just, I don't want anybody to be confused. Yeah, no, they're, yeah. they just shut down because everyone was shut down. Right. So, they weren't dying or shipping, but they're back working, so I just don't know how many hundreds of orders got put in before mine, so we're waiting patiently. Right. Um, okay. okay. Your turn. Okay, my turn. We're going to take turns. Okay. So we're stuck. Oh, I should have taken this out of the band. I will. One second, please. That is really pretty. Well, this one is my By the Bay piece. Oops. Um, what is this? Mountain, Mountain View Bay. Mountain View Bay. Nancy's doing. I had mentioned I was going to do this. Um, was my mania start. I was going to be, what's that word? Hmm? Where I only stitch one, the one one thing, monogamous. Yeah. I was going to be monogamous to this in the month of May. I would like to know where the month of May went. I know. How it, about it? It came and went. And it's I mean, fun. I did accomplish some. Here, I'll show you. Let me borrow your, let me borrow the back of that board. Mm -hmm. Or you want this? No, this is fine. Okay. I'll do this. So, I did accomplish some there. It's very pretty. I love that house. Look at the colors. It just yeah. like pops off this fabric. What are you using for fabric? Um, it was all called for. Uh, Wishel 28 count star sapphire. Oh yeah, it's that really pretty green color. Yeah. And all the called for DMCs. No changes made. The, I mean, it's just awesome. Yes. I love By the Bay. I love it. Just like I love my piece that maybe I'll get to one day in my retirement. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. Very pretty. Okay. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. My turn? Yep. Okay, so now I had um, a customer pop in today with some finishing or framing that she wanted. And I hope it's okay that I didn't ask her permission, but I'm sorry. I'm apologizing in advance, Candace. I'm sure she was fine with it. I'm sure she is too, but I'm apologizing in case it wasn't okay because I did not ask her permission. But I'm sure she would be happy to share this with all of you. This is, this should be on our oldie but goodie. Oh, yeah. And it could be okay. our oldie but goodie. We'll make so, it our oldie but goodie. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so there's four patterns in this design. This one, I'm, I should have. Yeah, there we go. I should have had this already ahead of time. So, okay, this is called Spring Snapperland, and this came out, if it wasn't the 80s, it came out in the 90s. It, it's old. Well, I could be wrong. I have no date on here, but. Okay, so Spring Snapperland. Let's see if I can find it's Coop. a date. There's Coop. Well, according to this, 2006. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm way off. She is way off. And there is a hive. 
Well, that's still pretty old. That's 14 years ago, 15. Yeah, but it's like, it, it, well, you would think. That's how old it seems. Mm -hmm. that it was, but I mean, it's still... Yeah. It just seems like 50 years ago. <laughs> but, I mean, they're so stinking cute, just like my Snapperville. I stitched my Snapperville before I opened my shop. And I finished it right when I was, like, researching the shop and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I finished it. And I'm telling you, it is, like, one of my top sellers in this store. Mm -hmm. This one is Cottage. So these are so stinking cute. Now, wait till you see how it all looks. So you buy these four patterns, for those that are unfamiliar with this Bun Creek series. And they have a whole series of Snapperville things. It started with Snapperville, the one that I did. Then there's like Spring Snapperville, Winter Snapperville, Autumn Autumn Snapperville or Fall. I'm not sure what they call it. But there's a whole, you know, all of them, all the seasons. And they're just so cute. We sell them all the time. So those four charts. And then what you do is you get, when you buy the four charts, you get a free border and you kind of join them all together and there's a little verse that goes underneath and the little verse for the spring one says there are always flowers for those who want to see them oh you know Candace did say she changed it so I'm sorry I don't have the original border in front of me but here is Candace's spring snapper bell isn't that amazing I love it and look at those little bees and when I was um, measuring this to to get the framing done and look at her cute little she thought I was talking about the buttons I'm like Candace I love the bees and she's like she thought it was you know that I was talking about these but no I'm talking about what she stitched here they're so darling so and now that's not called for fabric is it um I'm not sure this looks like um smoky pearl yeah it looks like smoky pearl what is it called for? Mm, Let me see the picture. Moment. It might be. Oh, yeah, it might be. Yeah, it is Smoky Pearl. Yep. Okay, yep. She used a okay. call for... I was wrong. Call for fabric um, with the threads. I think she said she brightened something up. I'm not... I think the words were in something else, but... Isn't that darling? It is very pretty. So, good job, Candace. We are... We picked a frame out. I'll try to show you guys again when it comes back from the framer. Okay. Okay. Cool. Next. Next. We're taking Next turns because I have a bunch of things to show you and I want to unhook them from here while Nancy's showing her little oh, Okay. Next stuff. is Miss Lucy. Who, believe it or not. Oh, go ahead and unhook. I can hold it. Who actually got just a wee bit of attention from me. A wee bit? A wee bit. Not much. No, I apologize. Is that like a weevil? A wee bit? It could be. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you need to put something behind that? Yeah, possibly. Well, that's going to fall down board. and get all wrinkled. Got the but, board behind there. No, I'm missing the, the one sidebar. And I'll tell you about it later. There's a good reason. So all I finished was, oh, was this flower and then started this next motif. That's about it. And You know what? When I was stitching this... I'm not sure I like that color. It's hard to see. Which one? For the flower. Oh, I like it. Oh, you do? It matches the basket in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's true. You did change the fabric, remember? Yeah, I changed the fabric, so. Oh, anyway, I like it. That's all I did for Miss Lucy. She's She was neglected for one Sunday. Oh, you only stitch her on Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, there is a good reason why I don't have it at the end on this. And I'll tell you all about it when I get to haul. But okay. That is all my whips for this time around. Can you put that over there? Yep. I don't want to get it wrinkled. Okay. Oh, so you're done with your thing? Mm-hmm. Okay, now, I know I've shown this to you before, but um, I'm going to re-show you again because Candace, speedy stitcher that she is, she brought in several pieces to get framed. And... This one you've seen, it's by Puntini Puntini, and it's called, I'll let you hold it, it's called Welcome Autumn. Welcome Autumn. And there's four of them, of course, Autumn, Spring, Summer, and, and winter. winter. Flip it around, and each mm -hmm. one comes with the Welcome sign, the Welcome whatever it is, and then another little button. Right. Or two other buttons. 
And then this is the autumn one. This is our version. My friend Debbie stitched this. We haven't framed it. I don't know why. Maybe I'll get a frame on it one of these days. Just one of those things that it hangs in the shop and then I never think about anything else doing it. I guess because it's not mine. It's, it doesn't belong to the shop. It belongs to Debbie. Right. So that is Welcome Autumn. So Candace came in with the summer one. And oh my gosh, I think that's why I needed to show you because it is so sinking cute. Yeah, it is adorable. And I love it. Yeah, and the fabric. The yeah, the fabric she chose. There's the pattern. Welcome summer. And I don't know what we didn't choose. Oh, it said light mocha. This is definitely not light mocha. I'm not sure what she used. But it looks like sand on a beach. Yeah. And we got the little cabana houses and everything. But look at this version. Very Isn't that pretty. darling? It is so cute. I just like want to go open the door and just put my, you know, change into my suit and just go lounge out there with little palm trees blowing in the wind. It is so, so pretty. You did a great job, Candace. So this is the Welcome Summer. Mm -hmm. We have Welcome Spring also. Oops, I tried not to get the glare. That one um, is not stitched. I haven't seen this one stitched yet, but they're cute. And of course, you've got the little buttons in the back. And don't be upset if you guys try to call and order the set. Um, each one is what? 18 bucks because of all the buttons. Um, we're out of winter right now, but I am going to reorder. I have reordered already some other things from Puntini Puntini. It does come from Italy. Um, and it didn't take too long. I want to say like three weeks. So it wasn't bad. So if anyone wants to order any of these or all of them or whatever, I'm going to get these back on order so it shouldn't be too much longer before they're back in stock. We do have some spring and summer and autumn. It's just the winter one that I'm out of. Okay, so cool. that's that. All right. Are we done? Yeah, what else? Oh, we're done, done with our whips and our finishes. Whips so and finishes. And what do we? What we gonna do next? I'm done with what I'm doing. You're done. Okay, you're not sure. Didn't do anything new in the shop or nothing. Oh, I did okay. it with my fabric video. Oh, okay. So I already took care. Of it. That's why I said this wasn't going to be that long. Oh, okay. Well, then we will move forward. I will hog the rest of the time with you. Um, I have some haul to share. So getting back now to or here. Let me pass I'll these back this. to. Kathy, she can hook them up while I'm yapping. So getting back to where Miss Lucy was not on, the end bar was not attached. Um, here is part of the reason. So my haul, Kathy, I remember me saying I was waiting on um, scroll rods. To, Have you seen anything up, this long? To hook up Miss, to, not Miss, to hook up Sparrow. Yeah. <laughs> so Sparrow's going to go on. Look at how huge this is. Look at the size, 33, oops, you can't see it, 33 inches. inches. Yep. She's not, that's how big her project is going to be mm -hmm. that she's working on. That's why she wants a scroll rod so it doesn't get all crinkly so and cue snaps. So I don't quit wrink, or so I quit wrinkling the. Yeah, the, I don't like stitching, clamping with cue snaps. I don't like clamping over my stitches. I'll use cue snaps if I can have a complete surround right but right. if I have to lift up and clamp on stitches I won't do it that's when I go to a scroll bar no I do clamp on stitches sometimes um, but not much but anyway so take a look at the end bar there you see that my friend Mike same Mike from the last video that I mentioned he and I went met up at Menards which is a, a hardware store of sorts, or like a Home Depot in case anybody doesn't, I don't know, is Menards throughout the country? I, I think don't know. So. so we met at Menards because we, and we bought a piece of wood, and Mike took my one end bar home with him. Oh, got it. And he's cutting six. Yeah, one, two, three, six. Because not only did I get one of these, I got three of these. So I'll be hooking up Sparrow. And there were a couple other things I had in mind. Why don't um, you just change out your sidebars? Because I'm lazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't want. I just 
Guess what I do? I just usually unscrew the the end pieces. Yeah. And flip them out. Yeah, I thought about doing that, but it was so inexpensive to buy that piece of wood was like four bucks maybe. And then I bought um a box of eight I needed eighteen or I'm getting or I have eighteen of the um what do you call these? Wing nuts. Wing nuts, yes, thank you. So moving on, we'll go quickly. I have some more haul. Oh, she just bought these. Two. Oh, you're going to show those other ones? I'll show this other one. So, I have, um... Oh, is that what you needed that fabric for? Yeah. Oh, it finally came in. finally came in. Lakeside fabric. Linen. Lakeside Linen Autumn Gold. Yep. Vintage Autumn Gold. Got so some in. So, I can start my map of Hawk Run Hollow. So, I'm excited. So, did you show this? No. Do they know what you're doing? It. Mm -hmm. So I don't know which. Oh, I have smaller scroll bars at home yet, I, which I think will be fit perfect for this. Are you fabric. gonna shape? Are you gonna stitch it like it is, or are you gonna make your own town? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Is it like instructions in here? You could do that. No, but Karen, my friend Karen, who's our framer, she did map of Hawkrun Hollow, and I think she changed the name of the towns to like where she lives. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's kind of cute. That's an idea. I never saw that one by her. She's stitch, she's a stitching queen. She just, she like, and she always changes everything. Like, she makes it her own. She'll, she had a frame. She was, she was a framer. And she had a frame that someone left behind. Never, they brought it in to have something framed. I don't know, but they never brought the thing in to be framed. So she had this frame sitting around. And the person never claimed it. And now here she is. She's closing up her business. And, you know, they're retiring, and she still has this frame, and she tried to call the person, couldn't get a hold of them. So she used, she used the frame for the, not for this, for Blackbird's Christmas Garden. And, but there was too much space, top and bottom. So she did something at the top, and then she did the sampler, and then she changed it because it says Merry Christmas at the bottom. She didn't like that. She did, I mean, she's always adding something. She took a Santa... She had a new son-in-law who likes sports, and so she found a stocking kit of, you know, with Santa in his bag and all the toys coming mm -hmm. out. And she made, like, a golf club and some golf, um, the golf bag with the golf club. She made a football, and she, like, changed the toys that were normally coming out of Santa's bag mm -hmm. into all these sport oh, things. Really? Wow. Soccer I ball. I mean, she, she's amazing. She has this stuff, obviously, hanging up. Oh no, she made that for the son-in-law. Well, she hangs it off her mantle at, at Christmas time. Oh, see, I need to go to her house. Yeah. I've never been to she's her got, house. It's apparently has, amazing. Yeah, she does a lot of really cool yeah. things. So, so then today, I picked up some more huddle. Um, I want, is this one I wanted? Yes, I, well, I wanted these two, and then I decided I wanted that one. So, from Firework Lane, they were, are they brand new to the cross-stitching? Little Stitch little Girl. Little Stitch Girl, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're kind of new. They're not totally brand new. Oh, okay. That's Firework so, Lane. Firework Lane. So cute. Mm hmm Okay. Then I picked up... Oh, and these are also new to the shop, so... Mm hmm Fa La La Land. Lane. Lane. Oh, Lane. Okay. That's really cute. And mm -hmm. Haunted Hill Road, is that what that says? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I don't know where she's out of. You know, where she's located. Oh. But they're might adorable. say something inside. Yeah, it is very nice. And then, I don't know when this came in, but I just saw it today. I'm like, oh, I'm getting that. From Waxing Moon. Oh, yeah. Preserving these have been in a while. Yeah, I like the one on the bottom the most, so I'll probably do that one. Sweet Land of Liberty in America. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should find that hindsight pattern. Oh my gosh, I love it. Well, we're getting very patriotic here at the shop. We had to redo our window. The If I can remember, I'm going to snap some pictures. I'll insert them mm -hmm. in at maybe at the end of the video. Because the, here in Illinois, restaurants are not allowed to have customers... Or diners inside so but if they could figure out a way to set up a just a tent with just a roof no sides 
um, or set out tables right outside the shop. Well, what happened is the guy next door to me, he owns a pizzeria, and he has no place to put tables. any tables. There's no room. He can put, like, maybe a space for two people, you know, a couple in the front and maybe one on the side, but that's it. So he asked me now in front of my shop, I'm sure you've seen some of you when I've done the video, if I've looked out the window, I have a huge sidewalk in the front of the shop. Mm -hmm. So he asked, could he put some tables up? And I'm like, yeah, go for it. So next thing you know, we've got picnic tables being delivered mm -hmm. and this garbage, like, cans. garbage cans and fencing and stuff because you got to make sure that people don't fall into the street because it's right there on the edge <laughs> of the street. Right. But it's been working great and it's kind of a little, that's why we're in this room here. We're in, this is the original shop. Um, the place where we normally film, that's, it used to be a florist and she was, she has a big uh, picture window. We don't really have much windows, just these little guys back here. But um, it's been weird, you know, you're out there, you're ringing up customers or whatever, mm -hmm. cutting fabric, and there's people sitting, eating their pizza right in right. front of yeah, our window, fun. and we can see them. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's kind of weird. They must think it's weird that we're inside here, but whatever, it yeah. works. He's making money, and I'm sure he's happy having customers back, too. So. Right. Yeah, exactly. The end of this month, the end of June, should be um, the start of Phase 4. We're in Phase 3 right now. The start of phase four and hopefully diners can go back inside the restaurants i don't know i'll have to i haven't really been paying much attention to the dining part of it just what pertains to me right there you go so okay. oh we got to do a what's in the bag right yeah i was just gonna say and that leads us to finally what's in, and the, what's bag. in the bag and so of course i'm always gonna be, stay, keep honest here's the bag we were going to record this yesterday, and we I just we ran out of time. I was exhausted. I'm like, you know what? Let's just try to do it tomorrow. And I saw Nancy left her bag in the back hallway, and I almost called you. I almost called you to tell you that you left your bag. And then I yeah. realized, oh, she doesn't bring yeah. this bag every day. <laughs> it was just for her what's in the bag. Oh, yeah, I left it purposely. I took home this one, this project bag, oh. what I was going to stitch on. So anyway, so today's... Um, what's in the bag is, might be pretty amazing to some of you, so make sure you're sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> so this, we did confirm this earlier, we are in fact in the 21st century. Yes. yes and I are. have finally joined the 21st century in one aspect at least. Technology. One te in technology, yep. okay. So just a month ago, I would say, I have was using this wonderful little phone. It's my flip phone, and I'll flip it open so you can see my little flip phone, LG, I loved LG, um, And but ever since um, cell phones came out, I think Cassie was with me, Cassie and I went and bought cell phones together, so that's probably 15-ish years ago now, mm, could be. so I don't know how long cell phones have been around, but, you know, like this. Um, so that's what I got, and that's what I used, and I never felt any need to to have anything more than this. And just until recently, I get I was getting jealous of watching people doing this, swiping on their phone. I'm like, I want to do that too. <laughs> but, so, so finally, I have joined the 21st century, and look what I got. Woohoo! That's my. Sorry for the glare. The but, mirror image there. Mirror image, yeah. So this is a Motorola Moto G, Moto G Power, Moto Power, something like that. Uh, it was just a brand new phone um, that they put out this year. So when Nancy was using this to text, oh my gosh, she'd have to, like for, a, she'd have to hit each letter so many, or each number so many times to get moved to the next letter. Right. Oh, I was good at that. I could text and drive. Yeah. Do, do, do. I knew oh, was... don't be saying that. Well, before, before <laughs> it was a law that you couldn't. I could. I don't text do. and drive. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so now I really love this. I wouldn't, and I don't know that I want to say I don't know what I would have been doing all my life without this. Um, I've been fine. So I, I have my email on here. And, of course, texting is much easier with the keyboard yeah, where it, you, it puts the suggestions for you in there. And you barely have to type anything yeah. now. And just keep, um, just keep pressing. This yeah. is the word I want. So 
So, that's, I'm happy to have joined the rest of the world with my new smartphone. Yeah. Dumb phone gone, <laughs> smartphone now. <laughs> it's what I used to call. Your dumb phone. I used phone. to tell people all the time, well, I don't have a smartphone, but I have a dumb phone. Well, it's hard to believe when you think about it. Some people don't even have phones at all. True. The that's air conditioning true. just kicked on in case you heard right. something weird. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how it's going to sound. Mm -hmm. Right. But yeah, all right, awesome. Well, that's it. We are updated. It's 31 minutes, 32 minutes now. Um, probably, yeah, this will be a nice size or nice length video for you guys because mm -hmm. I think I have 20 minutes of fabric before this. So. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm sorry you happened so long. It's okay. They don't mind. Mm -hmm. But they're still at home. We a will be back again the end of the month. Possibly. Probably. We'll see. No, maybe Nancy. Um, we might have a special guest coming up, so we'll see. Next video. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We'll see how it works out. Because we, all, I always have good intentions, and then, you know, sometimes stuff gets away from us. So, mm -hmm. so until next time, mm -hmm. may your needle be inspired. Mm -hmm. Bye, Flossie. Bye, Flossie.